Hey, uh, we're just going up to Lake Coronas for a fishing trip. Um, Walleye Slayer is reporting. And special guest with Active Outdoors. So, you guys, check out his channel. We're going to be catching some walleyes today on Lake Coronas jigging, and uh, should be a fun trip. Um, Carter specializes in bass and pike, so pretty cool videos. And uh, check them out. Yeah, right here. Huh? Right here. Just getting ready to fish Lake Coronas in the late fall. We'll be back with you when we get on We're some fish. now. I'm um, fishing about 37 feet, Lake Coronas. We do not mess around. Thirty seconds in, we got a wallet, boys. Yeah, it's good. Probably only an eleven incher, but we're doing good so far. Um, that was on a chartreuse, so that'll help us a lot if we start catching some more. If he does so. Next one. We just got another one. Thirty-two feet of water. Okay, cut it. Not holding on, so we're putting on some stingers, hooks, and uh, bigger baits. Just to, you know, really get the flash out there. And two seconds after he caught that, we had a nice smallie. So you never know what you'll catch. Carter Brinkman, catch. 28 feet of water, perfect gold. Our truth jig, it's a 14 and a half inch fish. Uh, nice, what do you think? Awesome. Nice. Next spot and it's a little night fish and dad caught a nice eater, probably 16 inches. Hold her up. Oh. Yeah, 11 feet, feet of water fishing the weed line. It's my favorite. Hey, it's 15. Okay, we just got back to the landing. Um, it's been a pretty good day. We got uh, about seven, six, eight walleyes. Two from keepers in about four hours, and then a smallmouth bass and a rock mouth or a rock bass. So, uh, yeah, Lake Coronas, we missed probably 10 of them too, ten at ten least to 10 to 12. So, just because they're biting so light, but yeah. using jigs, fishing jigs with minnows, heavy, That's 35 feet of water. It's, uh, November 9th and yeah that's the show thanks so we're back now from Coronas and I'll teach you how to clean the fish the first cut you want to make well first make sure you have a nice sharp blade that's the key to flaying a fish is that you, your blade is really sharp that'll help you make clean cuts it won't be as tough. The first cut you want to make is right above these two fins, kind of at an angle like this. So I'll make that. And then kind of down to this, almost to the center right here, and to the backbone that runs right along here. Once you're done with that, take your knife, kind of twist it, see I'm twisting it along the backbone. And I'm just, there's a rib cage in here that I'm, the tip of my, my, my knife is hitting. 
So I'm just going to keep going along that rib cage. Keep going, keep going until it stops. Now I punch my knife through the other side of the fish and proceed to cut the fish. Once you're done with that, start uh, scraping it. So just as you twist it before, do that again. Start scraping it off the rib cage. Should come off pretty easy. And then the rib cage goes down, so angle it. And then you have your fillet. Once you're done with that, simply cut the remaining piece off. There's nothing that is wasted here. Everything's scraped off. Um, Everything is gone from this part of this walleye also. The last part of the flame method is or the flame is that you want to take a piece of meat off the skin. So to do that, angle your knife as as I'm doing. Hold the tip and kind of kind of uh just scrape it off as you're doing, but just slightly cut like that. And then skin separated and you have your piece of fish. So that's basically it, and uh, once you have all your fish cleaned, put it in some water, salt it down, let it salt overnight, and then you're ready to go. Freeze it, and or just take it from there.